Hi, so for in, uh, in this video, we're going to talk about ultra measures and I'm going to prove a proposition um, uh, that proves that certain construction of a function is indeed an ultra measure. Um, okay, so let's start introducing what the ultra measure is. Um, so notice that the ultra measure is a measure that uh, its domain is power set of x given x is a universal set and it maps to zero to positive infinity uh, included on both sides. Okay, and it satisfies first empty set is, um, so first of all, um, mu, we use mu star rather than mu because mu already preserved for measure. So mu uh, star of empty set is equal to zero. And the second one, if given a, is uh, a subset of B. Uh, this implies that mu star of A is smaller equal than mu star of B. And then the third one is given that we have a union of EJ. <clears throat> um, then mu star of union of EJ is smaller equal than summation mu star of EJ. So we have this three. And um, mm, and then the proposition that I want to prove is um, concerning this. So let E to be a, a elementary family of Px and, if, um, and consider rho to be a function from, um, from E to zero infinity. Um, with we're required that the uh, empty set is in E, X is in E, and um, and um, show of empty set is equal to zero. So row can be any function as long as it satisfies those. Um, and then mu star of A is equal to infimum summation i to infinity rho of ej, where ej is in e and a is a subset of the union of ej. Uh, it is an ultra measure. So that is the, our proposition and we're trying to prove it. Okay, so first of all, um, new star of empty set is equal to zero since um, since so we have this is smaller equal than uh, one of the possibilities, right? So I can write the full. I can write in more detail. So we have this, and this is equal to infimum of this, and this is smaller or equal than one of the possibilities, which is one to infinity row of empty set because uh, empty set is in elementary family and empty set is in union of empty set. And this is equal to zero. And then we know this is larger or equal than zero. Therefore, new star of empty set is equal to zero. And we're down for first step. So for the second step, Uh, for a second step, <clears throat> let's, let's show, uh, so A is in B, that we assume then natural star of A is equal to, and we're gonna just copy down definitions here, okay. And um, is smaller equal than the infimum of this, which is equal to mu star of B, and then this is justified by one, and what is one we're gonna write, okay? So notice that the set is uh, is um, this set is which one? So sorry, I need to change this to B. 
Okay, so we need to show inclusions, right? Okay, if a set that is a, that is a, uh, if a union of set that covers, that is, a, that contains B, then it certainly contains A. So this is inclusion. But if a cover that, but if a union um, that contains A, it is not necessarily contains B. Okay. And therefore, uh, if you put the infimum, because we have more comparisons uh, over here, and then the infimum over here is going to be smaller or equal than, and that is our one. Okay, and then we're using this fact, and therefore we're done. And then the last step is, which is a little bit more complete. So, um, so we have uh, let E1, E2 in, be subset of X, right? Okay. <clears throat> be subset of X. And uh, um, what do we have? Um, be subset of X. Uh, we want to show mu star of union of ej is smaller or equal than summation mu star of ej. Let me change the name to a because the textbooks uses a. The textbook use a for like the input of mu star and using e to denote the um, collection of set whose union contains a. Um, okay, so how do we show this? Well, first of all, uh, so take so take AJ. This we you know the AJ subset of X, right? And um, uh, by definition, mm, I'm just going to say E, J, K, E, J, K, E, J, K. Okay, and uh, this implies for all epsilon there exists a collection E, J, K, where K is equal to one to infinity, where E, J, K is in E, and A, J is in union of E, J, K. K is equal to one to infinity such that um, so new uh, such that uh, this is going to be such that this is going to be smaller or equal than uh, new star a j plus epsilon times two negative j. And uh, if we so if we do on those do another one so um, summation j is equal to infinity of of uh, k is equal to infinity of this on both sides um, j is equal to one to infinity of this and uh, <clears throat> so we have this right and this is equal to uh well just itself I'm not gonna simplify it um but this plus because this is from one so this is just epsilon so what do we uh, obtain we obtained this inequality right we obtain this inequality and I think we're going to use it later, so I'm calling it two. Um, now, uh, so um, so. 
So we need to, let's do this. So we have this, right? Um, so this is equal to, this is, Equal to, let's just write the relations out. Okay, this is J is equal to one to infinity. Um, minimum of summation, one summations. Um, let me see what summation index should be. If this is just one set, then we're finding a cover for this, right? So, uh, let me use, um, let me use. Yeah, let me just use k, I think that the matter. k is equal to one to infinity rho of s, s k, for example. Um, uh, actually, let me use a different index. Um, L is equal to one to infinity and rho of s L, right? So infinity of, Mm, so of S L, um, what do we have? So of S L, um, and we have S L is in E, and we have the union of this is a subset of S. L, uh, no, union of L is equal to one to infinity of S L, right? I think so. Okay, <clears throat> since union of J equals one to infinity A J is a subset of Um, the union of J K equals to one to infinity of E J K. Um, basically, what I'm saying is you can treat this as a union of S L, and this is one of the candidates in the subset in this collection, uh, or in this set, right? Because J is equal to one to infinity, K is equal to one to infinity. But it could be other other way. I'm just saying this is one of the possibilities, right? And then because it is one of the possibilities, so we have this is going to be uh, smaller or equal than um, this. So I'm going to right. Okay, I see. Uh, so I'm gonna write more clear here. So um, this belongs to this. Um, it is one of possible collection of unions that satisfies the above. So, um, Consider. Um, so let me check since um, E J K is in E, right? And um, the union of J is equal to one to infinity of A J is a subset of J K equals to one to infinity of E J K. Since we have this union, right? Since we have this, and um, uh, right, hence we have because this is a infimum over all of the elements in the collection, and this is just a one, one. <clears throat> this is just a one possible. Uh, one element list in that collection. So of course the infimum of the collection is going to be smaller equals than one element of in that collection. 
And therefore, we have this is smaller or equal than jk is equal to one to infinity rho of e jk. Um, but from one, from two, we're going to use here is going to be, uh, I'm sorry, I should keep this, uh, is smaller or equal than this. Okay. And, um, and then what do we have? And then we're, are we done? Um, let epsilon converges to zero. So we have this is smaller or equal than this. And we're done. So here we go.